Hello and welcome back to From the Depths. Now, before this fight begins, there are two very important things we need to do. We need to set up proper control groups for our weapons. Now, typically, I don't do this because I don't really like taking control. But uh, I feel that if we're dealing with strikes, I may actually need to. Where's the control block? Is this it? No, that's the wrong thing. Let's set that back to a short delay. That it? No, that is not it. Is it below me? There we go. Right, control group two for you. Now, I need to go find the cannons. Cannons, I need to set you up. Where are you? Come on, don't play silly buggers. There we go. Control group one for you. And your sibling over yonder. Control group one. And finally, last but certainly most not least, one on the turret. Right, okay. That is step one. Step two. We are going to need a fire control system so that I can control all of the guns. Where the hell is my building? All right. We are going to need to be able to control all of the guns from uh, here at the bridge. Uh, this is actually starting to become a proper little bridge, which I'm actually kind of pleased about. Okay, there we are. We should now have all weapon systems on this vehicle are now controllable by me. Okay, those... Enemies over yonder shouldn't be a threat for our systems, but we're going to start rising the fortress, and there's a very good reason why. Shrikes are effectively bomber craft, but their bombs are torpedoes, so they're torpedo bombs. I'm not actually sure if they are flat-out torpedoes or if they're mines. They might be magnetized mines. Needless to say, they are an enormous threat to this fortress if it's on the water, but I've built a lot of uh, fortress turbines so I should be able to pull it up a little bit and it looks like my cannon has prioritized taking out a shrike which is fantastic news absolutely fantastic news but let's keep taking this up we don't want to be anywhere near the the, the water for now keep going this is going to be really taxing on our engines so I'm going to need to stop in a moment and test if we're high enough we're going to have to see have we taken one down have we taken down a Shrike? No, we haven't. They're the only things I'm really concerned about. They're the things that we need to destroy. If we don't destroy those, we're going to lose. Is that going to hit it? No, unfortunately. That is a shame. They may be moving too fast for me to hit. Oh dear. Lots of badness hitting my, my fortress right now. And here come the mines. It looks like they are missing. No, they landed right on top of my fortress. Look at how high they can jump. Oh my lord, that hurts. That hurts to watch. That that hurts. That's painful to observe. Uh, we should be able to maintain this altitude with these fortress turbines. It's whether they realize that uh, we can or not. Let me uh, just get in there and have a look. How much is it drawing for each one of these? Power draw per frame. That's not good. That is actually... Oh, no. The power draw per frame is... No, it's going up. I'm not sure where that's going right now. Okay, let's let's bring this back down then. That was too high up, unfortunately. We're going to have to let these mines hit us for a little while. That is going to hurt enormously, but there's not much we can do. Bring us back down to Earth. See, some of them are actually missing as a result of this, but... Uh Ah, look at them go! Bloody magnets! How's this doing now? Still hurting a lot. We're losing so many of our uh, turbines that uh, this is becoming even harder. Where are they? The, the three of them, they're just demons in the sky! I need that cannon to be a little bit more accurate, honestly. Come on, one shot just needs to land, and it would probably take out a huge section of their craft. Only one, that's all we need, just one. Come on, little repair bots, you can do it. Let's see, we've taken down one enemy so far, that's really not a good return. It is still... no, it's dropping. It is dropping, that is good. We're climbing in energy. That is very good. Okay, we're, we're good. We're, we're not going to lose at the moment. At least not from that. Have we taken one out? Have we actually got one? I don't... I don't see the strikes. Where are they? 
I refuse to believe that we've killed them all. You are joking. We've killed them all? Oh my good lord. No, no, there we are. Ah, damn it. My hopes, my hopes and my dreams all shattered. There's one over yonder incoming. There was one over there. Yeah, we've got two in the air above us right now. Not sure how many others there are. There are five enemies. We've lost our missile system, and our cannon system is taking quite the pounding. No, no, no. You're going to need to be faster. There's another one over there. It looks like it might be suffering a bit. It can't aim properly. Okay, take out the uh, larger threat over there, because it is actually shelling us, and that might be the end of us if it can do its thing. That's the way. Where are my repair droids? They are all over the place. We've got loads of metal. Can you take it out? Come on. Come on. That's right. No. Balls. Incoming. Duck and weave. Maybe. Uh, actually, oh yeah. There we are. I was going to say, oh, it looks like it missed, but no, it didn't. But you can see how much of an improvement having uh, armor on like metal blocks rather than wood on most of this is, is doing. Let's check out our engines, though. How are we doing? We are losing a bit of power, unfortunately. Okay. Time to sink down just a little bit more, then. Let's hope that this can help. Because we are losing fortress turbines all over the place. Fortress is running low on power. It's always going to be running low on power. We're still engaging five enemies. One shrike. One... One, so we probably have still got three shrikes. No, four. Four enemies now. Two shrikes, two, well, a, a some sort of hovering, well, it's not really a blimp, because it's using balloons. It's like a cross between a hot air balloon and a zeppelin. Many hot air balloons tied together with turbines. It's the two shrikes that are going to kill us. We are probably out of ammo. Oh, there we go. This is bad. This is this is the end for us, I suspect. Well, balls. We did well. We we did well to try and get this far. Can we can we evacuate? We might be able to. Can we return to friendly area? Yes, we can. I think we should. Let's get out of here. We've done a good bit of fighting. But I don't think we are going to be able to take on those craft any longer. We've taken out one Shrike. Honestly, that was fantastic. I'm not sure how we did it. But our fortress is hurting in a way that, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty terrible to observe, honestly. Oh, my God. Look at my fortress. But the only thing that's still standing is the control tower. Well done on that, though. Everything needs to be fixed. <sighs> yes, yes, I, I feel the same way, honestly. This music is appropriate for the mood that I am in. We just had to run away from a fight. My AI is gone. I've still got my controls. Oh. Have you got any power? I've got 18 of 48 power. Well, I think it might be a little while before we can do anything here. Got stupid amounts of metal though, so uh, perhaps just more. I think I'm going to add a couple more repair bots, see if they can help out a little bit more. Oh man, let's check the map, see where things are right now. Are you still going to be attacking us? Yes, they are. That is terrible. That one is reinforcing an island. Right, well we don't need the materials here, so we're going to leave. Yeah, we're going to leave. I know this is running away. It is all I can do to keep us alive at this point. Again, if we die because the uh, spawn beacon on our ship is gone and we get killed, that's it. Game over. You're no, there is no coming back once that happens, unfortunately. Well, there is. You can reload the game, but I'm not going to. Okay, right. Let's, let's go down here. We want more of you, please. I've got an awful lot of resources, so I should be able to build a lot of you. 
Let's uh, keep going all the way back here. That's right. And then up through here as well. There we go. Go forth, little droids. Repair the everything. It all needs it. And we'll add some in there as well. And even one there. There we go. This is our repair bay. This is engineering on this ship. Uh, one there. Okay, right. Go forth. We need this ship put back together rather quickly, if you haven't noticed. Um, well, while the repair bots do their, their business, and while my repair tentacles also do their business, I am going to pause the recording here. I'm not going to force you to watch me repair the, the, the entire fortress, but I will bring you back should anything terribly dire occur, such as we get pounced on by... Ah. Uh, balls. Why didn't I notice the sounds of combat? <sighs> Can I possibly get that fixed? Why did I think there wasn't going to be anyone here? More to the point, it clearly said there was two enemies. Right, repair. Repair now. There we go. Let's get this going. Let's get it going quickly. Come on. We need this missile system up and running, and then I can control it, and then I can blow those guys up with awesome heat-seeking missiles. Right. Come on. I've just got to hope that it takes them so long to get close that they're not going to be able to attack me. If they get really close, I'll just flat-out attack them with my blunderbuss if I need to. As a few people have pointed out, the, uh... <laughs> the... Minigun and the grenade launcher are, are basically OP weapons. It, 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 it's no point in really playing if you're going to resort to that, but uh, still. I'm not going to rule it out, I guess. I'd rather not, though. Can we get more of this fixed? I really do kind of need this fixed enough that I can shoot it. That would be ideal. There we go. Let's get more. I need the actual missile control block before I can shoot. They're shooting at us, you know. They might soon actually break something important. Please get the armor on the front first. If nothing else. Or just the missile control block. Once that's there, it'll reload and I can shoot. Bloody hell. Taking a long ass time. Right, I need to make sure that I'm not in the way of what it's trying to repair. Come on. Thankfully, they seem to be ridiculously bad shots. Like, almost worse than me. What am I repairing? I better be repairing this. I can't tell. No, stop repairing the engine. Repair the missile system, you fool. There we go. I'll, I'll have a watch of what it's doing. Come on now. <sighs> well, I'm not going to uh, stop recording while I'm under attack. That seems silly. 490 seconds. Deepwater guard attack on resource zone in Urwick 1.1. Okay, well, we've got some badness heading up. Did, did that just bounce off me? My lord, my robot is made of sterner stuff than I realized. But uh, we do still need to repair this quite badly. Come on. Focus on the right thing, you fool. The thing that'll actually save our lives. I've got more than enough metal. Oh! Torpedoes are online! Has the AI been repaired? Yes, the AI has been repaired. The torpedo system is re-engaged. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, we've got 445 seconds before we're going to need to move again. And I will move again. I'm not going to just give up. Fighting a Shrike fleet without any guns, that would be giving up. That, that would basically be just suicide with an excuse. Right, let's get over here. Let's continue trying to repair. I think it's because we're shy on metal now. Crap. I could take some things apart, maybe? Where's the resource zone? There is no resource zone here, of course. Um, I'm really not sure what to do. My repair bots can't really do a whole lot. Oh, maybe they can. Maybe I'm not giving them enough credit. Maybe it's scrap more than anything that I need to use for this sort of thing. I've got an awful lot of that. Uh, let's see. No, that's that's 
I'm fairly certain that my lack of metal is what's hurting us here. Well, I'll try and repair what I can. Hopefully my uh, torpedo system will actually hit something. But uh, I'm going to go and take you on with my blunderbuss, you little swine. I'll get some metal from it, too. If I can get behind you, then you're doomed. Haha! -ha! Hello. Uh, that's going to be silly of me. Let's try not to hit the ammo. Just yet. At least not until I can jump away. Man, this must be really annoying. This is like having a midget stood on your head, sticking you in the scalp with a needle. Ah, come on, you. Have we taken one out? Yes, we have. Got a little bit of metal, too. Good, good, good. Let's uh, continue to break you. We've probably got some torpedoes coming my way. Oh, balls. I said don't shoot the ammo! Uh, I just don't take my own advice. I really can't wait until uh, the patch is coming out later this month that's going to do away with all of the like map zones and instead make it one open world that you move across. Like, Because for the most part, I don't interact with any of the landscape. But if we did that, there's even a shovel that will allow you to terraform the landscape. Uh, sorry, sculpt the landscape. But um, I can't do anything with it because there's, there's not really much point. But uh, if I actually, if this was an open world, then yeah, you could possibly make like a, a bay fortress area for yourself. Alright, we're back down to having no metal. What's the map like? They're going to be hitting 0-0 zero, zero in a moment. Enemy strength 20. Uh. We could go for these guys with our torpedo system as it is. How much ammo have we got? 5,700 of 5,700. We got enough. Okay. I think we're going to try and attack this area. It's slightly more powerful, but with our torpedo system, we might be able to take them out. And if we can take them out, we can salvage. We are now actually properly playing as an underdog. We, we sat around for a little while. We were fairly comfortable. We were just dealing with attack waves like it was some sort of tower defense games. It's not. We, we are a massive underdog in this. We're fighting against eight like houses who have enormous um, amounts of resources between them to deal with people like us. That's right. Fantastic work, Torpedo System. Bring us in some metal and then we'll move on. Okay. Let's... Uh I'm going to go back to my, my seat in here. Let's close that. There we are. I'm in the bridge. This is where I belong. Now let's use the uh, camera to see how this works. I suspect we're going to win this fairly easily. We've got a lot of powerful torpedoes on their way. And these guys are probably not going to be able to move out of the way fast enough. Oh, no, maybe. These ones should start adjusting their direction soon. There they go. They might get a hit. No. Ah, oh, damn. They continue to spread, though you... Yes, good. You've reacquired a new target. Fantastic. Some metal coming our way. We'll continue to repair our ship thanks to all of this. Unfortunately, they are adjusting fast enough. This one's probably going to make a hit, though. There we go. How are you doing back there? Oh, you're in for a bit of pain, maybe? No. No, that wasn't close enough to be able to target you properly. But we should be able to wipe you out fairly quickly now. There we go. Some more metal resources coming our way. Unfortunately, we are going through our ammo fairly quickly, and that is not a good thing. Um, I'm not sure there's much we can do about that either. However, there are still some torpedoes coming this way, thankfully. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite useful. The torpedoes that were he heading in this direction initially... Ah, oh, damn it. They've stopped. Well... This may be a bit of a pain. Though it looks like he's turning towards my torpedoes. You fool! You should have kept up your angular velocity. It was the only thing keeping you alive. Why I'm giving you advice, I don't know, but I feel bad that you're just making this easy on me. Damn it. Oh, well. Meet your end, then, I suppose. And then my torpedoes can go and deal with the other one. 
Okay, that torpedo system is being remarkably useful for me right now. It looks like, uh... Yeah, this one's a goner. There's really nothing left of it. And that one's also gone too. Okay, we have now claimed this zone. Fantastic. That has given us a little bit more metal to play with. Let's see, have we repaired much more? Possibly not. Actually, no, we have we seem to have repaired all of the fortress turbines. That is fantastic news. That is absolutely fantastic news. How's the engine doing in here? Looks like it's good. We're in the water, though. We should be a little bit higher up, honestly. All that remains is the missile system and our weapon system. Though, Oh, my lord, they're going to cost so much to fix. It's going to be utterly crazy. Right, let's have a quick look. Where are the attackers? 50 seconds on this place. Have they decided to change direction? No. Hmm. It's interesting. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, this location, 2-0. We're going to attack some enemies there, see if we can't get us a little bit more metal. And it looks like I'm just going to be using my fortress as a hit and run for a little while. Once I can uh, get this to the point that I can deal with whatever is thrown at it, I'll just leave it behind, build a new fortress, probably a better one, honestly, and then uh, do what I can with that. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to go out and I'm going to... Ah, oh, shit. Really? That's not a good position for me. The enemy's on the other side of a mountain range. Uh, did I just... Did we just kill someone? Really? That can't possibly be true. Oh, crap. The Shrikes are here. Okay, moving out. I think. Maybe. Yeah, we are definitely moving. We're not going to be standing around here. Let's, uh... Where are we engaged? No, we are actually engaging Shrikes. We're, we're evacuating. Flee! Uh, move that over there. Let's engage this area now. Go, go, go. I am. I'm going to run away. I don't feel bad about this. I feel a little bit bad. I'm lying. I feel like maybe I need more tea to be able to deal with this. We are engaging three enemies. Where are they? Over yonder, they are three boats. We should easily be able to take them out then. How are you doing, little weapon system there? You are really messed up, aren't you? Bless you. Can I control you, maybe? Get you to move the right way? What on earth happened? Who did this to you? Was it those evil shrikes? I bet it was. Oh, my poor little turret. It doesn't know what way to look. Uh, maybe it is too ashamed of, of us running away. It can't bear to show its face to the enemy. I'm sorry. I've done this to you. I forced you to, to flee. It may be the right thing to do. But, uh... Sometimes the right thing and the best thing are not the same. That is, it may have been the best thing to do. Uh, well, we should... Oh, no, they, they've they got some angular velocity, though that one is gonna... Oh, that's mean. You've just guided the torpedoes to your ally, you scallywag, you. This one should be dead as soon as some torpedoes are sent its way, though. Okay. And it looks like he may be turning in to face us. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm fairly certain we're going to have to be moving on soon. I mean, a lot of our metal is being consumed by our ammo processes to restore our ammo sto uh, stockpiles. Which isn't great, but uh, it's at least keeping us going. But it is pretty dangerous that the only thing... Oh, there we are. I'm repairing something. It is pretty dangerous that the only thing I've got to fight the enemy right now are... Torpedoes. If we get hit by anything in the sky, we are doomed. Oh, why is that following where I'm looking? I don't understand. Oh no, there we are, okay. Alright, that one is a goner too. We are slowly getting our missile system back up and running. In fact, our missile system may actually be... No, it's not. Damn it, why will you just not repair the right block? It's very simple. I've, I've, got, a, I've got some missile tubes that would work at this point. 
Stupid game! Uh, it's gonna be one of those days, I fear. Alright, well, wait for the metal resources to come in, and then we're gonna make a move to another location. Let's have a look. Where are you headed to? Capturing territory 1.1. That's fine. Okay, there's someone down here. Enemy strength, relationship with the Onyx Watch is suspicious. We don't want to go there, then. Uh, what have they got in this area? I don't think it's wise to take on a 20-strength fleet as we are right now. One of them is going to have some Shrike um, guards there. So we probably want to hit this one again. Or maybe even this one. We'll see. Again, some resources coming in. Hopefully we're going to start repairing some stuff. Maybe. I'll just wait for it all to arrive, and then we'll uh, give it a try. Uh, let's actually check on diplomacy as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. The uh, white flayers are friendly with us. Anyone else? That would mean that we could go through their territory. If they were allied to the end, or just allied, it means they would actively help us in attacking someone. That would be particularly good. But we can see why they, they are friendly. It's because uh, they hate the deep water guard. Okay. Well, we've sucked up all the metal that is here. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up there. We are basically having to uh, scavenge for our meals at the moment. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. But at least they haven't fallen all the way. We, we have fallen quite a bit, but we are still in this game. Barely, possibly. But uh, once this thing is repaired, oh, the vengeance I am going to visit upon the Deepwater Guard. It is going to be biblical. But that really is it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will be joining me for the next. Where we will probably look forward to a little bit more scavenging, unfortunately. But uh, maybe there'll be some interesting stuff going on. And every place we attack, we get our fortress a little bit closer to being able to uh, be its old self again. But uh, until next we meet, do take care.